The story I will tell begins in on the 14th of June, 1962. Frank C. Odds, ODDS, was a pupil in high school. He was writing a, a diary and he wrote this day, back to school, have discovered today an unlimited series of geometrical designs based on a square spiral pattern. The sides perpendicular to one another in a clockwise direction ascend so far in arithmetical progression then repeat. So I'll try to explain that with the vocabulary of a turtle. Turtle uh, did not exist in 1962, uh, not logo turtles. So I show that uh, the turtle uh, is uh, here at the beginning. Uh, I'll have it turn to the right 90 degrees, so it goes down, and then uh, go forward for a certain distance, a, a unit distance, and then turn right, turn to the right again, and go forward and then turn to the right again and go forward and then turn to the right again and go forward and it draws a square. Uh, odds imagine that the distance here is a variable and increments the variable uh, in two steps, for example. Uh -huh. It goes uh, forward one unit, turns to the right, goes forward two units, turns to the right, goes forward one unit again, and so on. So, first of all, I'll show the JavaScript version. I use the turtle from the board JSS graph. And um, I, sh uh, I send a message to the turtle. The turtle is uh, T. And RT means right. So I send it the message to turn to the right. And then to go forward. FD means forward. A distance which is uh, the, the quadruple of the variable. The, the in units of distance, the length is a variable. And this variable I call J, why not? <laughs> uh, it is variable, so it varies over the time. Uh, so uh, I'll show, uh, so, uh, yes, after some uh, finite number of times, the variables is uh, reset to the value of one. So if it's, it's, uh, it makes one, two, three, four, and then after some time, one again and two again, etc., and so on and so on. Oh, I don't manage to come back to another page. How do I do that? Yeah, you know. And I, I think you have to go to the third step. Yes. No, the third one, left of it. Uh, do I have to, a new share? Do, do, do I have to choose the new share? Oh, yes, maybe. Ah. 
Yes, I'm here again. Uh, so uh, I try with three steps. Uh, three. And so I have to reduce a little. Uh, it's difficult to see what happens. Uh, one, uh, one unit, two units, three units, one unit, two units, three units, one, two, three, one, two, three. And uh, we are at the beginning again. So the figures are very interesting to see if one varies the number of steps one have one has a spiral lateral uh, with four steps it crawls to infinity as the odds said and uh, with five steps you have that and then uh, with six steps you have that and with seven steps it's the most famous you have that motive where, where you really don't see very well the length so uh, i go on my story in 1971 almost 10 years later, Odds was doing postdoctoral research on fungal diseases. He was a biochemist. And during a coffee break, he fell on a pad of triangular graph paper. In France, we call that dotted paper. We have dots. Uh, um, each uh, set of three dots yields a necrolateral triangle and then he made all the experiments again but not with 90 degrees but with 60 degrees so he remarked that it's almost the same uh, one step one uh, period of one uh, yields an hexagon two you have that three three that four that five this kind of flower six goes to infinity and with every multiple of six you have to a uh, motif to infinity seven you have a spiral lateral again and this gave him the wish to change the angle. This is how I made this. Uh, I use HTML. Uh, actually, because when I began this, I knew about JSX graph, but I forgot that there is a slider. And instead of using uh, the sliders, from JSX graph, I choose an HTML element, uh, which is an input element called a uh, range. Uh, I have it for the angle, for example, it's here. It's an input. It has an ID to refer to it. And I choose the type range. It has a value initialize to 90 a maximum value a minimum value and the steps and as it is called angle I, the id is angle i can address this from javascript and i address myself to the document and i ask to the document that it uh, looks for an element which ID is angle, uh, is, uh, it's here. After that, I'm not addressing to the document, but to the element angle. I said it has a value. I refer to this value 
I get the value, I send it to the function parse float, which transforms this into a float. And so I have a variable, which is a number. When I have that, I, I use it as a, a JavaScript variable inside my script. And all this, uh, yes, I have forgotten something. Uh, I attached a function, which I call run, to the event on input. This event is triggered every time something has changed, which means I, I moved the little circle with the mouse. And when it is triggered, I run this function run, which is the function I showed to you. So it's here, defined here. I already have a board and a turtle on the board. So I send to the board the message to suspend all the updates until I have uh, drawn the figure. Then I send to the turtle the message to clear the screen. And then I do everything that I showed. I read the value of the angle and of length, the, the, the period. And uh, I made the drawing. I choose to make it uh, 41 times. It's uh, rather quick and often enough. And uh, when I finally uh, have the drawing, I send to the board the message to unsuspend the update. And this, this is how, how It's not easy to come to it again because I am, ah, yes, now I have it. Hope it will work better now. So, uh, Frank C. Odds finally was ret retired and uh, Grand Pa. And he came back to Spider Laterals. He, his wish was uh, first to see what happens if one keeps the, the period one, two, three, four, etc., and a constant angle, but changes, changes the signs of the angles at each step. So here I have seven steps, which one is a 90 degrees rotation, and uh, it goes seven times to the right. I have uh, seven uh, minus signs. I can use this input to get a number, transform it into a binary notation, and uh, replace the zeros by minus and the ones by plus. So I can have still a period of seven, still 90 degrees, but very different motives. Just by changing the signs of the angles now and then. I love this one. So uh, to do it, I have one turn to the left, then one to the right, uh, no, one to the right, then one to the left, then two times to the right, one time to the left, two times to the right, and two times to the left. So uh, at this time, uh, Odds wanted to publish, make uh, an Android version. Uh, so we discussed about that, and uh, 
his uh, his project was uh, very interesting. It was like some kind of laboratory for the smartphone. People were, uh, say, waiting for the bus with the, the smartphone in hand. And so they could experiment, try some settings and see what happens and uh, discover new things, who knows. Uh, so I advised to him that he use a uh, JSX graph because of the small footprint. He loved the idea of the, of the cursor to, to change the signs of the angle. And he gave me uh, a, a list of experiments. Here you have the, the, the period is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, as usual. And you have angles which are not necessary from the same value. He chose 90, 60, 90, 240, etc. And I can choose examples amongst a collection he sent to me. Uh, what, why not this one? I just copy and paste and the new drawing appears here so he made he made this these are his his experiments he made this uh, on with a uh, excel spreadsheet and i uh, i suggested to him that instead of uh, Using the keyboard, one could use a wrench sliders. And this is the, what I get. So I, I can uh, change the number of steps. And for each number of steps, I can choose the angles independently from the others and having a lot of different drawings. So experiment. Um, he loved that. He loved that. He, he was re really pleased to, to see that uh, still today people are interested in spiral theorems. He was uh, pleased to discover JSX graph. Um, after that, after that, I, I lost contact with him because I had other projects. Uh, he did not finish his project with Android. There is an Android version. Uh, you have to pay for it. It's a, a teacher, I think, from the United, United States who does that. And Odds was uh, British. Uh, I, I know that there are implementations uh, of the classical spiral laterals uh, for many uh, dermid geometry softwares. I don't know for GeoGebra, but I know for Carmetal, DateJPad, um, and uh, as you can see, uh, JSX graph. Uh, uh, okay, uh, it is, this is all I wanted to say. Uh, on the description of the conference, you, you have the links. You can download this. Uh, web pages and uh, cheat with them, uh, experiment. Thank you.